pushing Chinese meth, sexual favors by high-class prostitutes, sounds like something from a crappy action movie, but it's not. These were actually just some of the things, the shady things, that Fred W. Pagan, a U.S. Senate staffer for Republican Thad Cochran, had been engaging in all while working for the U.S. government. The U.S. Senate staffer admitted to police that he had been selling drugs imported from China in exchange, Jose, not for money, but for sexual favors. Fred. Police raided his home and they found 181 and a half grams of meth. I don't smoke that much meth, but I can tell that is a lot of meth, at least enough, at least for police to know that he has the intent to distribute. It's bipartisan. The disregard for the use of tax money it's incredible. Right, who's paying this money? Who's man? paying? This guy is a, is a, it's a Congress office staffer. Yeah. He's being paid by tax-paying citizens. And still, he comes up and he uses his money, probably coming from us, to buy some drugs so he can have some crazy sex parties. Are we going to be able to make the congressman responsible for the actions of their staffers? We'll have to know. Is he using, you know, Congress computers to do the communications. It's, it's, it sounds like a funny story, but at the same time, it goes to show what is happening and the corruption that is not necessarily evident in the system, but that is present, for sure. Yeah, and we've seen that recently with certain DEA agents. That DEA agents, hot water. I mean, Secret Service, yeah. Congress staffers, mm -hmm. TSA agents. They're all engaging in these behaviors unworthy of the trust of the public opinion. Well... He was put under the spotlight on April 9th when custom agents found a Chinese package addressed to him that had more than a kilo of date rape drugs. Wee wee red flag, he's up to something, obviously. And then, since then, he was investigated. Now he's spilled the beans to the police, and now he's in a lot of trouble, obviously. I don't know. It was not the first uh, shipment. I read that yeah. he had at least four other shipments come before that. I mean, he's not going to tell he anyone like how long he's been doing this like a whole operation for. going on. Well, you can't be a rookie and be in importing meth from China for sexual favors. You've got to be doing this for a while and know your stuff. And yeah. I mean, it's sad that he wasn't even doing it for money, for se but for sexual favors. The things that he has to go just to get some is kind of sad. I think he needs to work on his game because... He needs to work on not spending our tax money on... Being that is the real issue here. I You're think, right. I think the real issue is, are there, are there laws... Are there systems that prevent public money from being spent or used directly or indirectly for this stupidity? Stupidity indeed. Can't deny that. We want to know what you guys have to say all about all this by commenting below. And please subscribe to the Lip TV 2 for more.